coffee. It is our last morning in Oregon for the year and I'm really sad to be leaving. It is, uh, I don't know, the middle of October and I've had enough winter. I'm about ready to head down south now. Uh, it's gonna rain. You know, I was gonna stick around for a little bit longer. So it's gonna rain for the next five days or so. And so I'm bidding adieu to Oregon. And, and uh, you know, I've spent the entire summer here and Gosh, you know, now that I'm off the trail, like I said on the trail, it was really hard in the moment, but I knew someday I would look back on it and, and I'm already looking back on it with very, with fond memories. And, um, you know, I'm even kind of um, in the process now of editing the last week of the trail and I'm thinking maybe I shouldn't have left because of course I'm forgetting all of the, the challenges you know the mental emotional physical challenges of it and i'm just remembering i don't even think i'm really remembering the reality to be honest with you uh because i'm looking at it at, yeah and i don't think i'm really seeing what it was really like so that's also just an interesting statement about our memories uh but yeah so i'm in ashland right now i'm actually because I've hiked the entire state of Oregon now and because the Pacific Crest Trail passes a lot of forest roads, I marked some uh, of them so that I could check out later, especially in this area because I come here a lot to check out for boondocking. And so I'm on Mount Ashland Road now near Bull Gap Snow Park and I'm, I was just heading out. I had a huge day of errands in uh, Medford yesterday. Okay, before I head out of Dodge today, I need to run into uh, Best Buy Geek Squad. My go-to, this is the camera I use pretty much it, most of the time. This is like my go-to grab. Lately I use my cell phone a lot, but this camera uh, broke. It like got possessed the other day. It was literally like inside. I hadn't used it in several days and it was inside the camera bag next to the door. And I heard it clicking on and off, on and off, on and off. Like it was possessed. It was crazy. I mean, I and so I had to take the battery out. And then the other day I went to put the battery back in and it was dead. So um, I did buy it at Best Buy and I got the service plan and it's um, this is the second time I will have to take it in. Hopefully they will be able to send it off and get it fixed and then send it to me to my mailbox because I'm heading down to my mailbox. Uh, sometimes they say they can, sometimes they say they can't. So I'm gonna go in and see, hopefully they can and I think I'm gonna get a haircut. All right, let's go to the Geek Squad. Yep, they've confirmed that my camera done died and it needs to be fixed. You're welcome, have a wonderful day and we'll call Okay, you. so luckily they were able to, um, they said that they could send the camera to me. They do have to send it off to their repair center and it is under warranty for like three more months. I think I bought the two year warranty on it because I knew I'm kind of hard on things and so I knew that I would probably need to be repairing it, you know, living on the road and just everything that I do. So, um, so it's still covered under warranty and they sent it off to their uh, center, their repair center, and, um, and then they will mail it to me. So, you know, that's kind of one of the things about being on the road you have to really like watch where you get like service work done, work on the rig and stuff like that. You want to make sure that you're going to be able to follow through, follow up on any warranties or service plans anywhere you are in the country. And I've talked about that before with my tires. I had a Les Schwab tires thinking that Les Schwab was all over the country and they weren't. So I still have Les Schwab tires, but, <laughs> um, but it's just something to be mindful of when you are living in an RV, be careful about who you do business with. And unfortunately, Unfortunately, that means sometimes you can't do business with the smaller businesses, which I do prefer to do. Speaking of which, I, worst haircut ever. Worst haircut ever. Um, I always go to like super cuts or great cuts. I am not picky these days. I mean, I used to spend $100 on a haircut. I don't care anymore. I don't usually have a problem. Look what she did. She butchered. Look it. She just went chop. So I've got these shelves instead of like... Instead of like, um, I had her straighten it to make it not look, it was bad. It was, it's bad. It's like, that's, this is like a really bad haircut. Look at that. It's gonna take forever for it to grow out and not, look at, look. <laughs> oh well, sometimes you win, sometimes you lose. All right. And didn't wanna do a whole bunch of driving, so 
and just ended up here in Ashland, which is uh, not far from Callahan's, which was my first resupply point. So good memories, really. The good memories are what I'm remembering right now. And um, heading slowly, I don't have a plan. I am telling my friends that I'm gonna be in the Bay Area maybe within the next week, but just thought I would uh, share with you kind of my closing of Oregon and some of the scenes that I have seen, beautiful fall colors, and just some of the scenes of Oregon. Yeah, there's a lot of work. Oh, that's not a work truck. A lot of work trucks have been heading up this road this morning. So I'm gonna grab my coffee. I'll be right back. So anyway, goodbye to Oregon. I loved my summer in Oregon, not only hiking the entire state, but also getting to hang out in some of my favorite places before and after the hike and find some new places. And I love boondocking Oregon. I love Oregon. I know a lot of you, um, were a little bent out of shape because I talked about how boring the trail through Oregon was. And I hope that I cleared that up in later videos about the fact that it wasn't necessarily Oregon that was boring, it was the trail through Oregon that was boring because they literally, they, because they literally like carved it through, I think some of the most boring parts of the state. and. The, uh, the trail is really a, an interstate is what I have decided and I've probably, this is probably a little redundant, I've probably said all this already. <laughs> I haven't made those videos yet so I don't know. Uh, but yeah, the, 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 uh, the PCT is really meant, I think in many cases, it seems to be an interstate to get people from point A to point B with the least amount of impact on the environment and especially some of the most popular, beautiful parts of I think most states, right? Especially Oregon. So. Anyway, that was my summer in Oregon. I'm gonna miss it. I, I, you know, got to spend some time with some really good friends, and I'm, I'm, my heart is heavy as I'm leaving. I think I feel that way a lot when I leave someplace that I really love. So, anyway, it's time to hit the road. I'll see you later. Pulling out of that KOA on the road in our Chevrolet. Turn right at the Texaco, then anywhere we wanna go. I know I'm gonna get there next to you. And baby, I know wherever we go, got the wind at the backs and the sun coming through our windows. Burning down the tread on four wheels. High on life and loving you. Goodbye, we Oregon. Hello, and California. Go down this road if you steer. Forget the map, all the rules, everything you learned in school. Drive under Texas sky, a slow road. Welcome to California. All vehicles must stop to have your produce inspected. <laughs> That's right. You can't head into California with any fruits, vegetables. Uh, actually, fruits, I think they've narrowed it down to and um, live plants. So if you do have any of those things in your rig, you need to report them and they need to inspect them because we don't want any um, hazardous insects coming in and wiping out all the California crops, which feed a large part of the country. Cascade Range and its elevation is 14,179 feet. It last erupted in 1786. There's a lot of mysterious beliefs about what goes on up there. Some people think that uh, people live inside it. 
But more on that next time. More on the mysterious beings that some say live inside Mount Shasta. I'll talk about that a little bit more next time as I explore Weed, California and the surrounding areas. I got some beautiful footage. And that's in a video that's coming up next. So click here to check that video out right now. You don't want to miss it. And thanks for hanging out with me today. I'll see you next time. In the meantime, be happy, be free, and be kind. Mwah! And check out the rest of the California weed area right now, right here, right here. Right there. Bye.